So here at the 70s homestead, we have this really cool brick kind of built in bar area. We are not drinkers here, so we thought it would be cool to turn this into a snack bar. So we've already kind of started. We have like movie nights and things with the kids. And so we have a little popcorn machine that we bought and we have a cotton candy making machine, which is a lot of fun. We've got an old ice maker down here from the seventies, I think <laughs> that uh, doesn't work, needs to be replaced. And we're going to get uh, a nice new mini fridge to put in there. Uh, we need some seating to put around the bar as well. And we have this older TV that I thought would be great to get mounted on the wall. And so I've already started kind of laying some things out. Uh, there's already an outlet there. Uh, it's not not great run with, run up there with C channel, but we'll use it and uh, we'll get a TV back here. I thought this would be a cool area for the Xbox. So we can put the Xbox here. You could kind of come back, come down and sit at the bar, uh, have some popcorn, play some Xbox games. Today we're going to get started on that and get a TV mounted. The one thing that I am concerned about is that uh, maybe the reason they put this outlet here, uh, run up here with C channel, is because this wall may not be a regular two by four studded wall. And I've used my stud finder here and getting some very strange readings. So I have a feeling this might be concrete block behind this with maybe some furring strips that the drywall is attached to. So I've got a new toy to uh, see if we can look, look back behind the wall here and get a better idea of what's back here. And uh, no matter what, we're gonna figure out how to get this thing mounted. Okay, so this is the area where I'm going to put this but so that could be there's like a maybe a double stud here so let's see what this will do this is called wallbot so this this helps to calibrate it for the type of wall that we are using so it thinks it thinks that there's a wooden stud here then it says metal stud. <laughs> this is something small, piper wire. There's something right here. So this uh, wallabot thing, uh, I just have an old Android phone and it actually attaches right to the back of it. And it's got like a little pop socket type thing. And this is the surface that you use to run across the wall. And it just attaches with the USB cable. And you just run the app on your phone and and it'll, uh, it can kind of look through the walls and give you a good idea, or a better idea, at least it's a helpful tool to uh, find out what's behind difficult walls. So let's just take a hammer and a nail. Okay, it seems to be hitting wood. That one, however, just went right through. Okay, so right here, so that's, that's concrete, that deep. It's two and a quarter inches. It's probably two by fours. Uh, I don't know what it is, actually. All right, it's gonna be a difficult one, but we're gonna have to do, cut out that hole square, rectangle, figure out what's back here, put some 2x4 braces in here some way so I can get my lag bolts in. What is that? So much for taking that out in one piece. Ah, there is a stud in there. And there is a wire in there. Well, I guess the wall bot was, was the only thing that was close. There is actually a wire here. What it is, I have no idea. And then there's a bunch of like phone wires or something here, data wires. No idea what those are for. Doesn't look like I cut them. I may have cut them a little, I'm not sure, but I don't really care. I'm not using that stuff anymore anyway, whatever it is. But there is an actual stud here. Well, that's promising. What if there's another one somewhere? Concrete. 
So this is what we have. We have a basically a two by four on edge. I just ripped it down and it's about an inch and a half deep. And then we've got uh, the drywall here, which looks thicker than half inch. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, some foam board and then the concrete or block wall. So uh, what I'll have to do is just grab some two by fours and run them in here. So I'll just make enough room to run the two two by fours between the studs there and uh, we'll secure them to the, uh, I guess you'd call this a stud, the studs, and then I'll also run uh, some tap cons into the concrete. So I've got a two by six uh, screwed into the uh, cement block behind it, as well as screwed into both the studs on each side. And now I'm just gonna patch this drywall back up. So I actually had to run to Home Depot and get a patch, um, a piece of drywall because I only had half inch here. This is actually 5 8 uh, drywall, which is a lot thicker. What I usually do with these patches is I actually cut the, the patch out of the drywall larger than the hole. And then I just peeled the, uh, the gypsum out of the middle um, so it leaves these wings and it's kind of paper wings on each side. That way once we put this in here, it'll fit down nice and snug and then it leaves this paper that I can mud underneath so it sticks and then I'll be able to feather this out and make it look uh, real nice and smooth. All right, we also have this awesome game sign, and we do have some screws already in the brick here that I'm gonna to try to reuse. So what I did was I just took a, a nail and, and just bent a little hook on it. So that will fit right in here, and then we can just tie it and hang from the screws that are already there. Well, here's the, the finished uh, product, the TV on the wall. We uh, sometimes will hook up a, a Roku TV a stick down here, or a fire stick down here, uh, or we'll hook up the Xbox so you can sit at the bar and play games or watch TV, uh, whatever you wanna do. So it's a pretty nice little little game game bar area. So we have the, the game sign, the, the game console controller uh, neon light, which is pretty cool. So that's an Amazon purchase. But this TV was quite a challenge to put in. This is the most challenging, most challenge I've ever had <laughs> mounting a TV to the wall. The paint, you know, when you ever try to match paint, it never, it's never perfect. So uh, this is, you can see the difference here, but because it's all behind the TV, you'd never notice it. 
uh, it, it looks better than nothing, but uh, it definitely isn't isn't perfect. So you can see the uh, the line there. And I, I took a piece of this uh, drywall right to Home Depot and had to match it. We tried a couple different times and it just never ended up being perfect. But uh, So a later project, we'll get wiring in here in the wall. I've got some other things I'm going to be doing this, with this wall, but at least we have the TV mounted. Even with the wall of bot, trying to, to figure out what was behind here, because there was a wire, there was like a doorbell wire in there. Uh, then there was the, the studs and then they're laid flat and then you've got the concrete. And so that thing, it threw everything off. Um, so I had a hard time figuring it out. But once I once I cut the hole in it, I could see what was going on. Sometimes it goes easy if you have a normal wall. Sometimes it's a challenge. But this just happens to be an old TV that we had uh, laying around, and that's what we're using. But uh, it'd be nicer to have a little larger TV and a little flatter new LED TV. So future purchase. And on a snowy day, it's nice to come down here and grab a nice warm cup of coffee and sit by the fire or play some games with the kids. So the TV is mounted and uh, we now have a, a place to, to hang out and play games at the bar which is pretty cool. So lots more to come on the gaming bar renovation and so stay tuned for future videos. We'll have uh, several of them coming out over the next couple months. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about mounting a TV in a difficult spot. Uh, this is I, We've mounted quite a few TVs and, and uh, this has definitely been the hardest. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video and of course if this is your first time here we'd love to have you subscribe, tag along to the SSL Family Dad channel. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when we post new content. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.